And cities along the Mississippi River have prepared for high river levels and substantial flooding, among them Fountain City. That's right. Our sister station spent some time there yesterday and learned what officials and residents are doing to deal with the rising water. It's not as bad as it gets, but it's still it's a complete inconvenience and an expense. The Mississippi River at Lock and Dam 5A is measuring at just over 660 feet, which is impacting quite a bit in Fountain City. The uh, HESCO system that we have on the lower part of the highway was designed to keep the water back, but as the morning progressed yesterday morning, uh, it started coming up through the road, and at that point, we had kind of lost the battle, so then it was a matter of getting everybody covered on this side of the road and making sure everybody had the sandbags they needed along with the city properties. As the water levels continue to rise, the people that call this small river town home are feeling the effects. We got water on the floor in a couple places. It's hard for our guys to get around. We have half a dozen employees or more and they can get no place to park. It's just it's a mess. It's a complete mess. Highway 35 in Fountain City is closed from Quick Trip to the Golden Frog due to being completely underwater. Something Adam says is causing traffic issues. Detouring traffic has been a big deal. This road is, is heaved up now and water's just pouring through it. So obviously trucks are having to go away around town and the county's fighting north and south of town to keep it from crossing the highway right now and we're fighting to keep this open so people can at least get through town. After flooding continues to impact the town year after year, Schaffner says it's time to make a change. Raise the road up like three feet would pretty much take care of it. You're never going to hold it out. The bottom is really soft here. They tried to build that wall. It was a great idea, but it comes up underneath. So the only thing to do is raise it up. They want to resurface this road anyway, that would certainly be the time. They're expecting the water to creep into town another five inches. According to Adams, the city will continue monitoring the water levels and filling in with sandbags where needed. Now the Wisconsin Department of Transportation says there is no semi-traffic through Fountain City at this time.